We've, we've competed um, several times, and she's beaten me more than I've beaten her. So she's, um, what's, what's interesting about this, I've never actually seen the full version. Um, I've seen clips of Run Mama Run, but I've never seen it fully, and I was crying the whole time, me and all my friends were. Um, but what's, what you don't really see is um, really how world-class Sarah is, and I'm a world champion, but she's beat me more times than I've beat her. She's a really, really incredible runner, and obviously you have to be that good, you have to have a lot of grit, which this film really captures that in her. So I think that, I'm not sure the last we saw of the film was about a year or two ago. Where is she with her running right now? She actually learned that that Achilles injury that um, occurred during the race, I'm getting the details a little bit wrong, but her Achilles um, ripped off her, uh, like ripped part of her ankle bone off her heel. And um, so, she didn't realize the injury was that severe again because as she told that doctor when she had the stress fracture in her back she just kind of goes by an injury of can i run or not and so she was hobbling through that injury for several months and now has finally had surgery on that and is coming back from that so she's she's running um but she wasn't able to compete this year because of that injury that occurred in that race great and so you have come back to town you have a um, you're getting married in one week, is that right? Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. oh, plenty of time. Okay. <laughs> and you're here um, with the uh, very first... Elk Run 5K. Elk Run 5K, which is tomorrow morning, and we invited people earlier to... Um, is there a place you can get track shoes in town? Can we... uh, yeah, well, Paradox Footwear sells Paradox. new balances. Oh. So go in there and buy a gym store. Yeah, I could have set that up a little better, but I'm sorry, Jen. Let's go to Paradox. Um, and race, so the race is tomorrow morning at? 10 a.m. And we're actually sold out, which I have to give thank yous to anyone here who's, who's racing. Um, we're sold out, and the event has the race in the morning at 10 a.m. I know um, tomorrow there are films starting at, what, 11? 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 So we'll be competing. We'll be competing. It's okay. <laughs> um, but if you do get a break, there's music and food and alcohol until 3 o'clock at 3rd and Elk. So it's going to be fun, and it's to benefit Living Journeys, um, which I, you know, I think a lot of people in this room have either been directly impacted by cancer or have had friends who have been impacted by it, and they're such a great local group that help um, you know, financial and emotional support. So we're giving uh, the proceeds from the race to Living Journeys, and so far we've raised like twelve or thirteen thousand dollars for them. Um, and I think it might be more if, if you know, the race goes well and people buy a lot of beer. <laughs> and, and that's never happened in Crested Butte. People buy a lot of beer. It's <laughs> not going to happen. Um, so you had a very brief cameo in this film. Um, and you looked very much like a natural with um, Abigail Ann. And so do you have, is this in your future? Is this a similar story to yours, do you think? Watching Sarah train through her pregnancy made me, um, you know, respect it so much and realize that, you know, I think we're capable of that. I think a lot of people um, see a, a pregnant woman running and might glare or judge. As Sarah said, people have a lot of opinions and aren't afraid to share them. Um, and so seeing her keep her fitness through her pregnancy is definitely um, appealing, you know, makes you think that you can do it. But then that clip, I love their night when it's like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and I'm not cut out for that. I'm, I'm a real, <laughs> real stickler for nine hours of sleep. So that, that one 30-second clip really put my trial years, like, <laughs> pushed away a little bit. How many more years do you feel like you're gonna be able to compete um, at the at the level you are now? I'm 26, almost 27, and female distance runners really um, hit their peak in uh, like when they're 30 and 30, like 28 to 32 is still like a sweet sweet spot. So um, I hope to make the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo and the 2024 Olympics in Paris, um, and I'll be. 33 in the Paris Olympics if I make it there. So those are my those are my next goals, um, and I, I could see reevaluating things after Paris, but for a while still. That's great. Well, I had a child at 56, so there's no reason why you <laughs> <laughs> we expect you running until then. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Any questions from our audience? 
Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Congratulations on your world championship. Yeah. I wanted to just know what you were thinking and know that you're coming off the last hurdle into the water that seemed like you just took off. Um, yeah, my fiance is actually my coach, and he's seen me. He went to the academy, so we've been dating since high school. So he's seen me and knows all my faults and knows, you know, what I need to work on in races. And so um, the previous two years, I went off the water jump and just was like crumbly, like a little jello-y. And so before the race, his instructions were mainly to have a really strong last water jump. I just tried to like be a robot, and um, I got off in first and I was feeling so good and was just waiting, looking around for someone to come to come and pass me. And then your mind floats in weird places sometimes in races. And someone, we, we run with hip numbers um, to identify us and someone's had fallen off and I was like, oh, there's a, I wonder who that belongs to. And oh wait, there's the last barrier, I gotta do that. And then it wasn't until, you know, uh, like two seconds before the finish line and I looked up and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a world champion. That's really cool. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I didn't really see it happening for me, um, but it was, you know, incredible experience and a great moment that uh, makes me smile. <laughs> Any other questions for Emma? Yes. Who are the, uh, like, you know, the, a lot of the African runners are really good. Who are the, like, great steeplechasers in the world? What nation has the great steeplechasers? Um, right now, it's primarily Kenya. Um, but the Americans are actually, we won more medals um, than the Kenyans did at this world championship. So the Americans are coming in hot. We're, we're um, taking away their medals. And um, it's, it's great competition. It's always... Um, you know, there's always a big group of Kenyans and Americans and Ethiopians, and we all push each other to get better. And um, I was lucky to come out on top this time, but but there's no super clear cut order of uh, you know who's best or not. We're all mixing up, but yeah, primarily Kenyans and Americans. Is the World Championship race is that something you defend each year, or is that a, like biannual or something? Yeah, um, the World Championships are every two years, and the Olympics, obviously, are every four years. Um, and so what some people don't know is the World Championships are an identical field as the Olympics, so it's just as competitive, um, but there's you know no other sports going on. That's the only difference. So it's just as important for the athletes. Sarah made a World Championship team in 2013, um, and so, again, like her whole journey sh showed her kind of shooting towards the 2016 team and um, it's just as hard to make a world team as Olympic team and just as hard to medal in those but um, yeah worlds are every two years long story short. Um, yes one more question I think from your father this should be good okay did you clarify the timeline on the baby thing <laughs> uh, yeah, you got three other kids you can ask for that first <laughs> And maybe one final question. Thank you. Yeah, I just like to know how you got involved with first place Um, so Sarah, I don't know how they got her how Sarah got involved with um the director of her film. Um I was just had a four second clip because I was at the New Balance house because we have the same sponsor and Sarah and I are, are friends and you know, when she was when she found out she had her tumor in her back when she went into labor with Abby. The, you know, she texted me all those things and I was there for her. And um, so it, it was very natural that I would sit next to her and chat and hang out. But I have no uh, knowledge on how Sarah kind of got this, um, got ESPN working with her. But yeah, I was just hanging out with my friend. <laughs> well, thank you. It's just an honor and a privilege to have you here and, um, and to have the race here. Crested also. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Emma Coburn, thank you. Thank you.